How do you look your best on Zoom? In this tutorial, which is the first in a series of three, we shall especially be focusing on the camera, including lighting, the type of camera, and how to use your phone as a webcam. You will further discover how to use the software that comes with your webcam to make you look your best on Zoom. I'm Simon, and this is Computer Tutoring. Great, so we've got a lot to get through. Make sure you subscribe and click on that notifications button so you don't miss the other two in this series of videos as soon as they come out. We at Computer Tutoring offer training in a wide variety of subjects. Check our website for classroom and online based training courses. Okay, before we get started, what are the basics? Well, before you start, just think about what you would do before you would meet somebody face to face. I mean, you'd wash and comb your hair, wouldn't you? You'd have a shave or maybe put, put, on, put on some makeup. You'd at least maybe put on a shirt. And in that way, you're showing that you're being courteous. Once we're all spruced up, how can making best use of our camera help us look our best on Zoom? I think the best way to help us understand how the use of our camera can help us look our best on Zoom is by looking at the worst position in our room. So let's have a look at the worst position for using Zoom. Okay, here we go at what I can safely assume is one of the worst positions when it comes to a Zoom meeting to position yourself. Your back is to the biggest light source, which is the window. The light is streaming into your camera lens and therefore people are just, it's just gonna be bright on their screens. Um, people aren't gonna be able to see your face. Yeah, this is not good. Plus as well, if you look that, uh, I'm looking down on the camera, so I'll give myself a bad neck. Plus as well, you'll end up with 50 million double chins. It's not great at all. So you might be thinking, well, I can't do that. I have to sit with my back to the window. My, my room is like that, I can't change it around. So if that's the case, your goal is to minimize the amount of light that's behind you. Shut those blinds, shut those curtains, and try and get some light ahead of you. Let's see if we can do that and improve this image slightly. So there we go, I've put some light on in front of me, facing me, and I've closed the, blind, I've closed the blinds on my windows here, uh, so it's muting the light. It also stops people looking over my shoulder at me uh, here, and in that way you can actually now see my face. Of course, the best position is to face the window. The sun is always going to win, so if you can, Arrange it so that you can face the window. Okay, now I've opened my blinds and I'm facing the window. And as you can see, the light is a lot better. So the next thing you can do is raise up your, your, your laptop, basically. If you're working for a laptop or if you've got another camera, raise that up. So if you see here, I mean, sometimes people are really sort of close here and then they're sort of looking down you know, like so, uh, especially on the lap as well. It's just not a great angle. You're just looking straight up and you end up seeing <laughs> how many nostril hairs your friend has. It's not great. So try and get some books, encyclopedias, boxes, anything to raise up the um, laptop. There you go, so you're not looking up somebody. So it's a little bit more natural. I mean, if you imagine if you had, you know, in real life, if you had a conversation with somebody and you were ending up looking up their nose, you know, um, <laughs> it's just ridiculous, isn't it? So try and raise that laptop up here. So you want it to be sort of eye level, really. You don't want it to be too high, so it's looking sort of completely down on you. So you're looking not up, not looking down, you're looking straight at it. it just makes it look a little better. Okay, the next thing you might need to do is invest in a separate webcam. Now, the webcam I'm using at this moment is the one that comes with the laptop. I mean, how can you call this a camera? I bought a Logitech C920 and I've installed it on my computer and you can swap the cameras down in the bottom left-hand corner here 
and I'm going to choose my HD Pro webcam and let's have a look at what the difference is. So it, the colouring, the quality is just so much better and it also includes extra features such as autofocus. There we go. If I just focus in on my rings here, you see, and if I just start moving back, you can see it's automatically focusing. If I take out, I'm a bit out of focus, and then I'm in focus. The webcam, the Logitech one I've got here, even comes with its own microphone. So say you're plugging or trying to use this with a desktop computer, you don't need to add an extra microphone. Right, now that you have your camera set up, what are some other things you can do to make you look your best on Zoom? Well, the first thing is if you are delivering a presentation, a speech, a lecture, make sure that you look into the camera. Now, it's all too tempting to look at the screen because on the screen is where all of the participants are and their faces and you want to see their reactions. And trust me, you will be looking at the screen sometime. It's just natural. But where possible, try and force your eyes up and look into the camera. And in that way, you will be truly making eye contact with your audience. So just imagine, I mean, it could be that you want to give a presentation and you're looking at people and you want to welcome them. You can say, hi, hello everyone. I would like to welcome you to the meeting. Let's try that by looking into the camera. Hello everybody. I'd like to welcome everyone to the meeting. So do you see the difference that makes? So even though the camera is an inanimate object and it is sometimes so hard to look at something, I, to look at something inanimate, our eyes are naturally drawn to movement. So when we see movement on our screen, that's where we want to look. So to make sure that you look your best on Zoom when delivering a presentation, look into the camera as much as you can. If you're using Zoom with multiple screens, like me, I've got a screen on my left and one in front of me, try to place your zoom window on the same screen as your webcam. So if you've got an external webcam, place that webcam on the same screen as your zoom window. And in that way, you will be looking, at least facing your zoom participants. Often I see people place their webcam in front of them while the zoom window is on another screen. So when those people are talking to you, you just see the side of their head. Sometimes the camera, the screens are quite far apart, so you end up seeing just the back of the person's head. So try to put your webcam and your Zoom window on the same screen. Did you know that Zoom has some camera options to help you look your best? What do I mean? Well, if you click down in the bottom left-hand corner at the pop-up menu that says Stop Video, if we go and now click on video settings, here we can enable HD. So we can see I've enabled HD here. Let me just move me to the side and move in close. If I untick enable HD, let's have a look at what happens. So sometimes I do this if I, my internet connection's a bit slow. HD takes more bandwidth meaning it needs a faster internet speed. Let me put that back on. Here's an interesting checkbox, touch up my appearance. So if I go closely, you can see that, well, I look okay here, but now I'm going to untick this. I can't believe I'm doing this on YouTube. So now you can see all my freckles and my lines. So if you want to look your best on Zoom, make sure that the touch up my appearance checkbox is ticked. Great, so I've finished that, so I'm just gonna click on the cross in the top right-hand corner. What settings can you adjust with your webcam to help you look your best on Zoom? Well, as I mentioned before, I'm using the Logitech C920 camera, and it comes with Logi Capture software. So make sure you install it. It looks something like this, and it allows you to adjust some of the settings. So what do I mean? I can zoom in here, and I can actually then pan the window to look at a certain part of me. And all of this will be updated in the zoom window. If I just minimize this here, you can see my zoom window. Obviously I'm zoomed in a little bit here. It's probably not the best view. So I'm just gonna zoom back and just click on the reset button here, go to yes. Great, so let's move down. What else can you do? Well, I've got my autofocus. 
it's switched on. I can turn that off if there's any problem with that and actually have it manually focused. Sometimes you might want to make sure you're out of focus. It looks like there's some grease on the lens there, doesn't it? Let me switch autofocus back on. I also have auto white balance switched on. So if I click on that, I can adjust to make sure you give it a bit more of a, a warmer feel if I want to. Or it looks like a sepia look, doesn't it? All the way down to a very bluish type tinge. Let me turn that back on there. I have different image settings that I can change. So if I wanted to uh, decrease or increase my color saturation to give me a glow, just adjust it to make sure I look absolutely right. I can adjust my brightness as well if my room's a little bit too dark and my contrast. Okay, and in that way I can get myself absolutely perfect and look my best on zoom. Here we go, it's image sharpness that I have here. So brightness, contrast, sharpness, color. So I can get my best. And again, if I minimize, it all appears and updates in the zoom window. What I must make sure I do in the zoom window is make sure that I choose the Logi Capture camera. It's like it's a separate camera in your zoom window. So make sure you choose the Logi Capture camera. Let me go back here. You can also have a little bit of fun with this. So if I click on this little magic wand here, I've got some filters. So this is my standard filter. Here is, say for instance, there's just too much sun going on outside. It's a little bit of overexposure. Uh, Olden days, I remember when Zoom started all the way back in 2011, I think. You get the idea of that. This one is like techno, it's like an old pop video maybe, you know, from the 80s. The one with the black teeth. Right, so, or just, <laughs> you're in the hall of mirrors, you know. Aye, aye. <laughs> feeling a little bit blue, or feeling a bit nostalgic. I mean, it's fantastic, each one. Just to let you know, let's just go to this one here, the old pop video. If I minimize this, all of this is reflected in the zoom window. Okay, let's just go back here. And I'm going to go back to normal view. Okay, just back in the Logi Capture software, I'm just on the source one, just at the top here. If I go all the way down, there's an option for vertically flip source. That makes me look upside down if I minimize Logi Capture. This will aid confusion, won't it, in the zoom window. In the Logitech Capture software window, if I scroll down, there's an option for border. And if I click on this yellowy type border, notice I can write the colors in hexadecimal here. Uh, if not, you can just choose standard colors. And then I can drag the width of a border and it will add a border around. Let's have a look and see how that looks in zoom. Now you can see that there. Let me just enter full screen in zoom. Yeah, this will create confusion, especially if you are in gallery view, because it will look like you're speaking. I suppose this doesn't really help you look your best, but it's enormous fun. Let me exit full screen by clicking on the top right hand corner and click on my Logi Capture window here. And I'm just going to turn my border off just by unticking source. So just remember, if you don't have your Logitech camera software open, so if I close that down, then you won't be able to see it in Zoom and I get this symbol here. So what I would do is go down to this little pop-up menu here and just choose my HD Pro webcam C920 um, and that's fine. Did you know that you can use your own mobile phone as a webcam? A cell phone. This is how you do it. Okay, how do you use your mobile phone as a webcam? Firstly, you'll need to download the DroidCam software on your computer and on your mobile phone. This is using DroidCam, although I hear there is a version for the iPhone. I don't use the iPhone, I only have an Android. Hence, I will do this for the Android. So you can download the DroidCam from this website and install it. Once it's installed, you can open it up and here we go, this will allow you to connect to your mobile phone. You will also need to download and install the app on your mobile phone. This is how you do it on your phone. If you want to use your phone as a webcam, you will need to allow USB debugging on your phone. 
It's not too complicated. This is how you do it. Swipe down from the top of your phone and click on the cog at the very top right. Scroll down until you see about phone and click on about phone. Then scroll until you see software information and click on software information. Then you need to tap the build button a few times and it eventually will let you know that you're near to being a developer. Once it's released you need to add in your pin code and now developer options will be available. Click on the little back arrow at the top, click on the back arrow again, then if you scroll down all the way down to the bottom notice the developer options are available. Click on developer options then we can scroll down until we find USB debugging and then click on the slider to allow USB debugging and then click on OK. This is how you would install DroidCam on your phone. First you would go to the Play Store and find, click on search for an app, type in DroidCam, there it is there, DroidCam wireless webcam. Then click on the install button, wait for the product to be installed. Great. And now we can open the products, open Droid Cam, and we can allow pictures and allow. So now what we need to do, now what we can do is we can now connect our mobile phone via USB cable. One connection in the bottom of the mobile phone and one connection to our computer. When the phone asks to allow um, data access I always click on allow so now I'm going to click on the refresh device just here and now I can see my Samsung here I'm going to use it for video and audio and I'm going to click on start and now I can use my mobile phone as a webcam and when I start in zoom so let me just click on zoom here at the bottom and start a new meeting just maximize my window I now can choose, if I click on this drop down list and choose Droid Cam Source 2, I can now see um, and start my video, that would help. I can now see myself and I'm using my mobile phone as a webcam. Okay, as I said, this is the first in a series of three tutorial videos. The second, we're going to look at how to make you sound good on Zoom. For the third tutorial, we'll be looking at enhancing your Wi Fi making sure that it's as smooth as possible. What sort of things do you like to do to ensure you look your best on Zoom? Please use the comments below. We'd really like to hear from you. We're on Instagram and Twitter. If you are too, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. I'm Simon from Computer Tutoring and I just want to say thank you so much for watching.